Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Marlins versus Phillies Major League Baseball matchup on Saturday, on Sunday, September 8th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Just go to PickDogs.com, click on the Premium Picks tab. I've also got a link directly below this video in the description. If you make bigger bets, you have a, like a $10,000 plus bankroll looking for VIP type services, we offer those as well. You just got to text the number you see on the screen. Um, these are custom made packages, certainly not for everyone, but if you fit that type of budget, by all means, text that number. But let's get to it. We've got the Marlins taking on the Phillies, and the Marlins, of course, last place in the National League East, battling it out with the Colorado Rockies for the worst record in the National League. The Marlins were a playoff team last year. This year, not so much few different scenarios happened. Number one, they got off to a horrible start to the season. Their bullpen was absolutely terrible, imploding game after game after game. A lot like the Chicago White Sox this season where they just couldn't get out of the gate. And you know, the thing is, no lead was safe that they had. Meanwhile, after, you know, aside from that, Sandy Alcantara, their Cy Young Award winner, started the season on the injured list. He's still on the injured list. Tommy John surgery. And then, you know, a bunch of these other good young pitchers that they have has all have also been in and out of the lineup. Guys like Cabrera, Jesus Lazardo. And then, of course, you know, the Marlins also decided that this wasn't going to be their year, and they started to trade people. Big names. Luis Arise. So they started to trade, you know, their, their closer. And, uh, you know, the Marlins would do what they do, live to fight another day, do it with a low-budget payroll, and uh, continue to move on. In this one, they have Max Meyer. We've seen good stuff out of Meyer this season, but we have also seen him get absolutely blown up on occasion um, a number of times. Checks in with a 5.68 ERA on the season. It's 5.94 over his last three starts. The Phillies go with Seth Johnson. Of course, the Phillies are the opposite end of the spectrum, first place in the National League East. They have been runaway winners in the National League East. Not even the Atlanta Braves or the Mets have even come close to them. They have had it seemingly an 8-10 to 10 game lead all season long, even when they don't play well but this Seth Johnson comes up from the minors he is supposedly the real deal 0.56 ERA at Lehigh Valley um, just five hits and one earned run um, in 16 innings of work uh, he he would spent most of his time in double-a with a 2.63 ERA the Phillies believe that he is major league ready and for that fifth spot in the rotation well he seems to possibly be a pretty good fit he was acquired in a trade from the Baltimore Orioles Oh, man, this could be the guy that the Phillies have been looking for that pushes them over the top. We look at the way these teams are hitting right-handers, and the Marlins actually hitting righties better over the last 10 games at 273, while the Phillies at 261. But once again, it is that Marlins bullpen continuing to be terrible all season long. 5.08 ERA over the last 10, while the Phillies 2.87. Miami just 2-8 and eight in their last eight home games. I'm taking the Phillies with the rookie, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.